Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, in this video, I'm going to share with you one of my deepest and most uh, powerful strategies or secrets that I've used. And uh, because of this one particular habit, secret or strategy, whatever you want to call it, it has changed my life forever. I mean, whatever success I'm enjoying today, whatever opportunities I've had, whatever uh, money I'm earning, it's all because of this one secret, okay? And I'm going to share it with you. Uh, and you'll be like, eh, you know, if you're sharing a secret, it's not a secret. Well, uh, the fact of the matter is, um, it's something that you can copy, but it will not affect me. And that is the main reason why I'm sharing. And every client, every student of mine, every uh, individual who I've trained knows this little secret. Okay, so I'm going to share it with you and uh, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Yeah, something in my ear. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and uh, let me know what you think. Okay, I definitely will be reading. In case you're new to my channel, my name is Loy Masido. I'm a personal branding strategist. I help people get well-paying jobs in uh, Dubai, UAE, um, also Saudi Qatar, Bahrain, Oman. And people book my services for coaching, consulting, whether it's uh, you know, personal services, sorry, personal problems, professional issues, when they want a different point of view and they're fed up and tired of all these cliche stuff, you know, especially when things are bad to us. Uh, it can be anything, whether personal, relationships, uh, going through a divorce, uh, you know, midlife crisis, whatever. You you get the idea. I have 7,000 videos. Check out my opinions on different videos. It'll give you a kind of a flavor of how I approach things. Okay. So now comes my secret, and I'll uh, I'll explain it to you by giving you an example. Okay, uh, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so just just be patient about it. Okay, now you're seeing this video, right? You're seeing this video. Have you noticed that you know I'm I'm, I'm just wearing a simple shirt? Okay. If you see, many people have complained, hey man, you know, the books at the back, it's the same background, man, it's so bloody boring. Some people even think that uh, the books at the back is actually, uh, you know, that NVIDIA uh, AI, I'm, it's fake. It's not real. There's a wall. This is all fake. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, if it's fake, then why do I have this uh, vacuum cleaner there? Why don't... Why do I have that minion there? Why don't I put full? No, no, no. I know you just wanted it to look natural, but it looks very real. Huh? So some of them are like, oh, okay, fine. You believe it's fake. So why do I have the same? Some people are saying, man, why don't you go outside, walk, and we can see some difference. But when I go walking outside, people are like, hey, man, what is this? The same old boring bullshit. Like I've memorized uh, your route. You know, I, I go like... Uh, two, three kilometers and walk two, three kilometers and I keep doing it for one hour as long as the video duration is there. So people are kind of fed up and bored of my videos uh, in terms of in terms of the background, in terms of like they, they, they tell me, you're only sitting on a chair and talking, man. What the hell? Yeah. Why don't you go to some restaurant or uh, do some uh, travel vlog or and they it's not that they have bad intentions. They genuinely have good intentions. They are telling me variety is the spice of life. But I stick to my format. And the reason I stick to my format is because they are giving me advice from the vantage point of entertainment, of interest. What they don't seem to understand is this, what I do is business. This is business. Uh, the topics that I select they're not very entertaining. They're not like, you know, about uh, gossip, about the celebrity star. If you actually notice, it's most of the topics are pretty bland and very vanilla. It's nothing like, like very interesting and very amazing. Like you, you would, 
like many people even complain that man you, it's the same topic yeah self improvement personal branding jobs in dubai salaries and man why don't you come out with something new okay what people don't seem to realize is this is for my target market okay so now what exactly is the secret then what is the secret i have stuck to the same topics the same uh if i were to word it uh, in the way that i would communicate it it's a singular purpose you know a very singular purpose is like i have a focus that is one particular topic one particular brand focusing on my target market that is willing to pay me money they don't care about entertainment they want serious stuff like jobs they want to improve and these people have the money to pay okay so but however i can't make it boring i have to make it slightly interesting so once a while i'll speak on cricket i'll speak on a movie i'll speak okay however if you notice every single day i come out with a video every single day while being focused on my topic so i'm i'm giving you the secret huh? uh, just pay attention to this so i have a singular focus it is like a laser beam on one particular or a group of uh, topics on a group of let's say a target market uh specializing on a, i think the right word is singularity of purpose okay and uh, i keep it's like i'm attacking all my missiles all my weapons all my uh, artillery everything that i have on one particular spot okay and i don't stop every single day i keep attacking and attacking and attacking okay but now people have the theory that man instead of uh every day coming out with a video two three videos why don't you come out with one amazing video one viral video one fantastic video which will get you millions of views okay why are you doing it every single day it is the same as asking why don't you go to the gym and train so intensely like dorin eats you can google search this guy dorin eats he used to train like an animal so intensely with such heavy weights that where people would train for 3 hours 4 hours he would train for 15 20 minutes okay where people would train for 3 4 hours he would train for 15 20 minutes and he would be in so much of pain agony intensity like it's not like he's breaking his arm that people would vomit people tried his workouts it's called heavy duty okay like where other people will take like 50 kilo and hey how are you man and you know relax and do keep doing reps let's say for the chest he would not take like 50 kilos he would take like 200 kilos like after the warm up and he would not stop like when you're tired you stop right oh, oh i'm tired you just after he gets tired then he would start grinding out and he would not stop till it would burn so much like it was fire literally to the point where you know he would almost faint or he would puke that intense was his exercise so heavy weight super heavy where people are doing 50 kilos he would do 200 and he would train to such a level where he would be shivering or he would collapse now his was all in all in heavy duty total gutsy and he would do three times a week and four days rest he would require that much he would tax his body and believe it or not he came out with amazing results but he was not able to continue this long term what happened was his body got multiple he literally ripped off his muscle from his bone uh, his shoulder was being held in place by a thread of a tendon just a thread everything had been ripped off he, he had torn his tricep he had torn his i think shoulder not uh, chest he had so many damages on his body like ronnie coleman another bodybuilder i want you to google search ronnie coleman this guy was dorin eats heavy duty ronnie coleman he used to do almost like 400 or 500 kilos that heavy he used to do today he is paralyzed he is uh, like paraplegic 
because he put so much of pressure on his spine so these guys put complete intensity all are balls to wall okay while there is another style which is more famous with the, this mma fighter his name is gsp his uh, coach name is Fa, uh, faras wahabi wait i'll i'll give his exact name g gsp's coach uh, yeah zahabi zahabi what is his name uh, firas firas zahabi he gave a very beautiful statement at joe rogan's podcast he said when i call people to train there are two ways of training one is a crossfit style where you do balls to wall you know crossfit it's very intense very heavy but people get injured it's very effective but people definitely get injured and you'll see like greek gods they are built they are all steroid users although they claim they don't use you'll see them women they are bigger than men they are that big just google search crossfit uh, athletics or finals or whatever the women are bigger than men and they claim that they are natural which is all bullshit okay it's all and the intensity by which they train like they can literally do heavy weights for like 5 hours 6 hours 10 hours until they collapse which is inhuman okay so it's not natural so you can either train like that or you can train where you relax your body you push your body you relax and you're consistent and you do it every single day i have tried that balls to wall training i have tried medium intensity and i tried this one this one works best with me and i used this principle not only in my exercise not only in my uh, self education i also used it in my business i also use it today like right now the time is 2 am 2:07 in the morning okay uh and i'm making this video though it's not perfect I'll, i'll be honest with you it's not perfect like i'm not scripting down each and every word looking at it like how you see many other people and there's hardly there's just a camera there is a microphone okay it's not perfect i'm i'm telling you i i know where are the flaws although you cannot find it i know i because i've been doing this for nearly 25 years man but i'm doing it in a way that i enjoy that's number one i always tell people enjoy the journey see there are a lot of nuggets here singularity of purpose then doing it every day enjoy the journey so the third point enjoy the journey not the destination and then you'll do it every day and that is where the main principle comes in which is the secret that i want to share with you and that is consistency but the word is not consistency the word is stage time if you speak to any toast master if you speak to any public speaking person you speak to any comedian you speak to um, anybody who is involved in performance creative work whether it's writing a blog whether it is uh, making videos whatever if you do something every single day and you keep practicing polishing perfecting ppp practicing polishing perfecting it every single day with minor minor improvements very small i'll tell you that minor 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 improvement will become big 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 it's like a snowball see you know if you actually check the number of videos that i have like close to 7000 plus you know people are shocked they're like bloody hell man 7000 videos and then they kind of like what the hell are you doing man there are people with 50 videos and they have like 1 billion views example i'm giving or 100 million views 50 videos each video is like 3 4 million views why don't you do that yeah it's true why don't i do that but i enjoy this journey every single day and it is not humanly possible to make a perfect uh, video a perfect production with a team with the intensity at least my personality i don't know about yours my personality if i do something very intensely so intensely that 
like that training, heavy duty, like Dorian Yates, where I cannot breathe and I cannot walk and all that. I can do it only for some time after which I'll get fed up and tired. That is why, if you notice, my uh, um, running, cycling, swimming, and triathlete, I was a triathlete, um, the intensity by which I put it, I'll pu I'll be sharing a video of, I'll have titled that video, my David Goggins, um, uh, what do you call that, schedule. It was like a, a workout, you know. It was so intense that one day, full day was dedicated to it. Next day, full day was dedicated to rest and recuperation. It was so intense, huh? so intense. One full day, full day of training. Train, uh, eat, train, like Brock Lesnar, uh, WWE wrestler has eat, eat, train and sleep. I was just doing that one day. Next day, just relaxing and preparing for the following day. I did this for two years and it involved a lot of money. Results were amazing. But I realized I couldn't do it forever, man. Uh, I'd be burnt out. I'd be dead. This, it is impossible. Why do you think there are so many singers, so many dancers, so many artists, so many uh, professionals like uh, actors? They put so much of intensity and they earn so much of money and then they like retired. They're like, can't do it anymore. Yeah, it's it's over. Like, have you noticed there are some singers like even Lady Gaga or they achieve a particular point and they're like, I can't do this intensity forever. I'm retiring. They retire at a very early age. Why? Because they know it's impossible to keep that schedule. So, what, what would be the message that I can give you through this video? Let's, let me summarize what I told you right from the beginning. First is, have a singular purpose. One goal. It should be one goal. It should be one agenda. It should be one. one. You cannot have 10, 20 of them. Because, I don't know about you, but for me, I can only focus on one thing and be obsessed about it. Okay, for example, but that, that doesn't mean that uh, I ignore everything else. Like, for example, there is housework, I do that. There is, uh, you know, my self-education, I do that. But those I do it in a very relaxed manner, very, very relaxed. But the main goal, the priority is this. Like, for example, I my whole day revolves around this first, okay? Then everything else. Like, I need to earn money, right? You know, I need to focus on my brand. That is most important. Rest, everything else. It's like uh, Stephen Covey had give that example, jar with many stones. If you have not read it, read it. First, you put the big stones. Then you put the smaller stone. Then smaller, then smaller, then just put the fine sand. And because you put the big stones first, all the other smaller stones, when you shake the jar, it goes in between the spaces. So when you focus on what is really important, the smaller, smaller, lesser important or unimportant stuff is somehow adjust in between. But if you put the sand first and then you put the small rocks and big rocks and then you focus on the big rock, it will overflow the jar. It will not fit into the jar. Okay, this is a Stephen Covey example. If you want the exact one, just Google search this. So for me, first is this. In fact, beyond this, it's actually my clients. First is client because they pay me money. Uh, that is my priority. If a client were to call me, let's say I'm going to make a video and my client and a client calls me, hey man, uh, want to book a session with you. You know, there are guys who pay me $237 an hour. There are people who pay me $1,000 for, you know, they book two, three sessions. That is more important than making a video. Video I'm making because I, I love it anyway. So that is client is first. Then comes this work online. After this, everything else, whatever. I want to play a game or I want to write a letter or a blog or uh, clean up things or whatever. But I have the priority set up. And the singular focus. The singular focus is my work, my personal brand, my target market. Okay. The message that I have, the few topics that I specialize, not in everything. Okay. Singularity of a purpose. The next one is I focus on being, like I said, consistent every single day. And I do it in a relaxed way. 
I don't see even if you want to study, don't study in such a manner where you just don't want to open a book the next day. Do it a little bit. Like, you know, why we are so addicted to the games. Let me switch off the AC, man. It's a little cold. Why do we um, play video games? Why are we so addicted, especially to the online? Because they will let you play, but so much where after some time you lose the lives or you lose the power or you lose the fuel. And then if you want to play more, you need to pay money. So most of the people like to play for free. So after they play like Candy Crush or whatever, those online addictive games, after some time, they tell you stop, enough. So they've kept that interest where you still want to play more, but it gets carried over the next day. So they keep you consistent where they, because this is human psychology, where if you do something every single day, you'll enjoy it much more. It'll become a habit. So do it in a relaxed way. Even if you go to the gym, even if you going walking, jogging, running, uh, singing, whatever it is, do it in moderation and enjoy the journey. That is what I tell you. Number three is do it consistently every single day. See, make it easy, but be consistent. Don't miss even a single day. See, there are, I'll, I'll tell you this, people don't know, but there are days where I really don't feel like making a video. I'll tell you honestly, uh, there, there, there are sometimes like, I'm like, oh man, ah, I'm not feeling like it. Like I literally, there have been days where for two, three hours, I'm just walking. I'm like, ah oh, man, need to get into the zone. Uh, one particular day, I even, <laughs> I was lying down lying down you know i sleep in the same room i was lying down uh, and then i went to sleep i woke up and i was like now i'm feeling drowsy then i took coffee then i was feeling like ah uh, not still not in the zone i struggled for i think four three four hours finally i was like ah uh, hell with it man i'll just see i can do i tried to make a video still failed i felt so crap so shitty so messed up i was very upset then I played a game, I tried to do something, I tried to do some work, I tried to... Finally, I think the coffee kicked in or I don't know what happened. I think after nearly five hours, seriously, huh? no joke, five hours, full night, just struggling, struggling, struggling. Finally, I made the video. And one video came out. I'm not saying it was a miraculous, I don't remember which particular video. But one video came out and I was so glad that I finished it. See, there are days where it'll be very tough. There are days where you'll just be like, no, man, I... Do I really want to do this again? You know, like, you you know, watch the movie Groundhog Day. Okay, Groundhog Day. Or uh, the action, uh, this thing was uh, The Day After Tomorrow, Tom Cruise. Groundhog Day, actually, Groundhog Day is much better. Bill Murray. It's um, kind of like a slightly older movie, but it's very nice. Where Initially, it's a little slow, but then it picks up. You must watch it. The guy wakes up every single day. Somehow, something happens, but he wakes up every single day at the same day with everything being the same. The After he wakes up, the person who wishes him is the same person, says the same sentence. Then when he goes down to eat the breakfast, it's the same person, same, same buffet, same everything. When he goes out, the same car passes by. It's, it's like repeat. It's like uh, play. Rewind, play, rewind. He's just living the same day over and over again. The same people come, the same. And no matter what he does, he'll end up the same. So if he dies or he goes to sleep and the day is over, it repeats the same way all over again. It's a must-watch movie. Groundhog Day. You'll thank me for it. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, I look up at the ceiling. Ah, oh, okay. And... If you know, my wife is not there. My kid is not there. I'm alone. So it has been like, I think, 45 days now that I'm alone. I wake up. Same house. Same everything. Open the door. My guinea pigs are squeaking. And they, they have developed this bad habit. I'll make a video. You'll not believe me. The minute they see me, they go, queek, 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 queek. Very loud, high-pitched sound. So irritating. It's like an alarm clock. And they all... And worst part is this guinea pig... One female gave birth to two babies. Another one also gave birth to two babies. I was like, now nah, bloody hell, I need to separate them. They're just multiplying like rats. So I have two females that have produced two babies. Now there are, that means four. 
So instead of four guinea pigs, now I have four plus four, eight guinea pigs, which is too much, man. I'm waiting for them to grow a little big and I'll give them off and hope they sell it off. And I have to keep the males separate and the females separate. Too much. And then I have the uh, sugar gliders, four of them. Then I have my dogs, uh, the chihuahuas. Then I have my other dogs. So I have to take care, clean their poop, their piss, uh, clean up their cage, fill up the food. Oh, it takes me two, three hours. Okay. And I do the same thing every single day. Every single day, the same thing. Okay. And then after that two, three hours, then I deal with my clients because that is the first order of the day. And then at the same time, which is around, I think, four o'clock or something, I eat food, more or less the same food because, uh, you know, the market serves the same. I can ask somebody to cook something, but it's more or less the same. I know you might be thinking, man, what a fucking boring life. It's not that bad. Okay. I'm at least grateful I have this. And I'm I'm not a guy who likes too much of variety. I don't mind it. It's It's okay. It's a little bit the same. And then by the time... Evening comes, again, I have to feed all, all of them, clean their cages, whatever. And after I finish any other pending client work, and finally I sit down here to make this video. This is my schedule almost every single day. In between, I might get to play a game or I'll force myself, actually force her to play a little bit because a little bit of creativity or something different should be there. And that's it. And by the time, it's like 2 o'clock, now it's 2.22. I make this video and by the time I finish editing this and uploading this, it'll be five o'clock where my battery and the coffee and the caffeine will die out and then I'll crash. So I do this, but I do it in a way that I enjoy it. I, I figure out a way to make it enjoyable, like whether it's buying this chair and Having relaxed, whether it's putting easy, whether it's putting on music, whether it is. I I I will not give any excuse not to do it. Like my goal is, okay, I will make this video. What should I do in order to make it happen? And I enjoy my process. That is why, even with the clients that I deal with, I only work with clients I enjoy. I choose my clients. Even you, you might have a shitload of money, but if I don't like you, this is one of the privileges I have that I don't have to report to a boss. I don't have to work under someone I don't like. I don't have to work for a company I don't like. I don't have to get up at a time I don't like. I choose my clients. Yes, there is plus and minus. Okay, you might enjoy good security. You might enjoy good package. You might enjoy status. You might enjoy friends and all that. But on the negative side, the stress, the pressure, taking shit from others and working for a boss you don't like, office politics, all that, I don't have to listen. I am the boss of my life, so to speak, you know. And I earn money and it's not bad money. It's good money. I, you know, two, three clients a day is good money. Okay. So now, uh, I... I more than the money part is I do it to enjoy. That is why I make these videos. See, these videos don't necessarily generate thousands of views. Hardly, hardly. 500 views or a thousand views. Hardly. But I enjoy it, man. I love what I do. Oh, I just love. Even if, even if, I'm, 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 I'm being honest with you. Seriously. Even if 100 people were to see it. Only 100. And, uh, I'm getting the same money from my clients. I'll still continue making these videos. Why? Because I'm earning. This is my hobby. I do it because I love it. So you should figure out something that you would love to do every single day. And that is where when you perform in front of people, when you put your work out there, that stage time that I told you, you know, when you keep performing like a comedian, you keep performing. Okay, you'll bomb. You will crack a joke. That is not funny. People will get bored. People will be yawning. There'll be a heckler. They'll be like, shut the fuck up, man. Get out of the bloody stage. And you'll have bad days. You'll have days where things didn't work out. You'll have days where mediocre laugh. You'll have days where nothing worked out. But then you'll have maybe one day that works out. So when you do it every day, you not only develop the resilience, not only it becomes a routine, not only it becomes your habit, it becomes you. 
and the joy of being able to do it every single day the joy i cannot explain like i'll tell you when i used to go to the gym for bodybuilding those days I, yeah i used to take steroids and all that but i used to enjoy it man i was like oh just enjoying uh, you know just chumma just doing it for fun and a little bit of intensity talking I, i was i was not doing it seriously but when i did take it seriously i told you balls to wall i put it but i realized i could not do it uh, more than that you know i'm i'm like this guy when when i do something if i have to do it extreme all out like tattoos hardcore extreme and then finish never do it again playboy hardcore extreme 300 plus girl girlfriend sex six girls per day and yeah now nothing now i don't want it books i was buying books like crazy like uh, at even a even a single uh, maybe purchase $10000 i was crazy man but today is like ah, no enough so whatever i've done i've done it to the extreme but if i do it to the extreme then i lose interest and i don't want to do it ever again so moderation is a key like that guy you know firas zabi uh, the trainer of gsp make sure that you don't break your body so badly that you don't want to come to do your exercise or your workout the next day if you do every single day little bit but you enjoy it and you put your work out there publish it whether it's a blog whether it's a video whether it's an article whether whatever it is whether it's your singing your dancing your exercise painting studying whatever and you do it consistently i'm telling you that is why luck will meet you that is why opportunities will come up that is why you'll get noticed you know um, there are many times we hear this uh, phrase no overnight success oh man he finally got the greatest deal like joe rogan joe rogan got oh 210 million us dollars yeah it was not overnight he started this podcast when there was no such thing as podcast and nobody actually believed in podcast where everyone else everyone else was saying oh uh, video should have graphics and movement and people and seo so called experts are like every 2 3 minutes the screen should change and he was just sitting there talking people said this is bullshit but see where it picked up now i'm not saying i'm going to be a joe rogan if i can oh wow great i i i personally don't think there is anything so great like joe rogan i'm realistic i'm i'm pretty real about it but will it give me my daily bread yes will it give me my daily earnings yes will it add value to my brand yes will it add value to my target market absolutely yes if today anyone google searches my name or checks my channel there's a complete library of videos where they can choose what they want from relationships divorce marriage uh sa- sa- like i put salary negotiation then sales everything i'm not saying they are the best in the world but at least they offer some value for free and how do you think i keep getting clients i don't advertise at all it's just word of mouth or someone says man big fan of yours uh, seen your content i've been following you for years nothing but respect to you thank you for you know putting and they trust me they like because you have been so consistent here's my money and they give me 100% in advance can you imagine that giving someone 100% in advance totally trusting them and saying i believe you yeah now can you deliver you can also achieve this if you have consistency if you have singularity of purpose if you enjoy what you do people feel it and whether it's a good day or bad day just keep coming out and remember the the secret is stage time you can couple all this the singularity of focus as a secret um doing little bit every day where you do it and you enjoy it you have to enjoy it and then being consistent about it and publishing it publish your work don't wait for perfection whether it's your website whether it is a video whether it's a tiktok whether it's whatever just publish it let it be man there will be some some videos which will not be so great there will be some which will be okay that's fine i'll tell you 
you know all this uh, at the top no there are these trophies which let me show you see the camera just see you can see i'm moving it you can see these orange boxes see it's written trophies 1 2 3 4 5 can you see the five and the sixth one okay you can't see there are uh, i think uh, another four more outside okay so these are trophies these are trophies i have more than 800 trophies uh certificates and all that and the rest there were too many i tore them out and burned them and donated the trophies to schools and colleges whatever the poor ones um how did i get them because every single every single competition i would take part without when not when i would give it my all i did it until like i guess like this you know finally it's time to move on and i would keep it and people used to wonder how the hell does he keep winning man because i had more stage time than anybody else where one person would do one let's say one competition in a month i would do 30 competitions in a month seriously i'm not joking if there was a competition every day i would do it every day where people would practice their speech maybe uh, let's say just casually for uh, maybe one hour in let's say a week or just do it few days before the competition few days maybe two days three days they would just compile something i sometimes would do it seven eight months in advance and i'd keep practicing I'd, i'll i'll make a separate video of how extreme extreme i was in competition i would practice what to do with this hand what to do with this hand what to do with my eyebrows what to do with my eyes imagine uh a 7 minute speech because toastmasters was 7 maximum 7 and a half after that you get disqualified i would know each line where my eyes would go what to do with my mouth what to do with my neck what to do with my shoulders what to do with my legs left leg goes where right leg goes where i was that mad yeah but i enjoyed the process but what made me stand out was stage time and in the end now if you put that level of commitment obsession love um the years the time effort money creativity you will achieve something yeah okay uh, the best case scenario is billionaire like opera or rock they are all committed people even though the rock takes steroids whatever even though opera was friends with harvey weinstein whatever the case nobody is perfect whether it's kim kardashian whether it's jeff bezos elon musk um the rock opera whomsoever they didn't just get lucky yes you have to be right place right time right connection whatever but the intensity the commitment the obnoxious unbelievable inhuman effort but i can tell you one thing they all enjoyed the journey others it's not possible to do it yeah see i'll just conclude by telling you this see you and i you know we have just one life just one and this is all that there is as you're getting old no you, you, there's uh, forget this heaven and hell and purgatory and rebirth it's not going to happen yeah okay even if it happens you have not seen it i have not seen it nobody knows it who knows maybe you'll become a frog he will become a parasite on a dog's anus you know you just don't know man so this this life is all that there is just think that this is all that there is make it count yeah make it worth it make don't just live your life being a salaried slave yes i know it's very easy for me to talk i'm not saying quit your job fine continue your job but do something that represents you that is a manifestation of your inner creativity all of us have something enjoy the journey man enjoy the journey and if you do what i told you every single day doing what you love publishing your work at some point unexpectedly opportunities will come up your luck will change see how i am here i got lucky but for that luck i prepared myself i hope uh, this video will inspire you to not only publish your work not only 
be consistent, not only have that singular focus, but to give you a little bit of meaning and happiness and joy in your life to do something that you love, whatever it is. Because remember, you know, people talk of legacy, they talk of one day people, once you die, people forget. That's it. Okay. No, if I ask you, who's your great grandfather, maybe you will not even remember. So just do it for you and make it worth it. This life is not just eat, sleep and that's it. There's more to life. Anyway, I hope this video inspires you. Remember my secret. Stage time. The more experience you have. Have a singular focus. Enjoy what you do. Have fun. Do it consistently every day. And most important, publish that work. Press enter. Just publish it. It may not be perfect. It may not be great. Whatever. Just publish it. Perfection will come with time. That's all I have to share with you. Let me know your thoughts. Good, bad, ugly. Love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, feel free. Comment down below. It's me signing off. You guys take care.